Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats then here at Hazen Union High School. Hazen Union Varsity Boys in action tonight against the Thetford Panthers. Opening tip. Thetford controls. Got myself set up here. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial stream worldwide and archive. www.hctv.us. First points of the night scored by scored by Hunter Clay. Three-pointer by Clay. Tyler Rebard underneath the Prez with him. Tyler Rebard with the rebound. Two points for the senior. Trying to get my notes here all set. I've got some notes. I've got some game stuff. i got everything for you. I'm just going to get myself together here. Thetford coming back. Score 3-2, 7-0-7. Left to go in the first. All right. Try and match up names and players here. Mitchell Parkman gives it to, that's Dempsey McGovern. Still trying to get my mic set up. I'm having a tough time here, Art. <laughs> but we got it, Art on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC. Travel called by referee Brian McFarlane. Thetford, one of the three teams that has handed Hazen losses this year. Inside Rivard, up underneath. Lost to him back uh, January 11th down in Thetford by a score of 47 to 42. Cats up 4-3 at the moment, early in the first. Big crowd here tonight at the gym. At the den, that is. <coughs> USA night, a lot of people wearing their red, white, and blue. Red's a prominent color out here anyway. So at uh, 6.06 left to go here in the first. Here's the X-Man. Gives it over to Moody. Back over to Baker. X. Far side. Pass inside. Prez open. Pass it back out. Frees up Baker. The Butcher, the Baker, the three-point maker. Puts the Cats up by four. Here's Clay. Dishes it over to Fahey. Boone Fahey with Mitchin on him. Gets it back over to Clay. Clay puts up another shot. Doesn't drop. X. Dribbling through traffic here. Moody. Pass inside. Rivard. Doesn't get that one. Still nothing. Still trying. Turnover. Big week of action here at the Den this week. We've got the boys playing tonight. The girls will have their senior night tomorrow night. That one goes in and out. Rebound taken away by Parkman. Gets it back to Gilman. Uh, girls will have their senior night tomorrow night against Milton. Boys are back here Wednesday night against uh, Lamoille. Then the boys will have their senior night next week. Turn around inside. That was, uh, was that 20, 22, 22. Dylan Vance, I believe. Or was it Parkman? I'm going to go with Parkman. I saw a two on the tail end of it. I didn't see the first number. I'm going to go Parkman. X over to Baker. Brendan Moody, three-pointer, doesn't drop. Foul called on the Prez, Lincoln Mitchin. Last Friday night in a heck of a ball game here at the Den. The boys came up a little short against Montpelier, but Tyler Rebard set a new single game rebound record of 33 rebounds. That one doesn't go. Rebound the Prez. X. Randy Andell with a call. Call on Dylan Vance. 33 rebounds. The old record was 26, held by Billy Boyd. Set it back in 2009 in a playoff game against Williamstown. 
but 33 rebounds. And I believe he had 25 points. Just a whale of a game. Boys played a, a tough, tough rebound with six on the night so far. Uh, the defending Division II champion Montpelier is tough. Uh, ended up losing by five, but it was a great game. Back out. Loses his dribble, picks it up. Crowd wanted to travel. Dish inside. McGovern was cutting, nowhere to go. Talking to Coach Hill uh, before the game, he said the Panthers play a really sort of tough defense, almost sort of unorthodox with the way they they lapse and drop and screen and everything else. He said it's given the, the Wildcats a tough time in the past. Referee Jeff Blanchard calls a travel. Boys still have game uh, this Friday at Lake Region. And then they'll go Monday on the road at Williamstown. Next Thursday, the 23rd, it'll be senior night for the boys against Randolph. Thetford, three-pointer, doesn't drop. Gabe Mitchin. Gabe Mitchin in now. There's X. Over to Baker. Blocked. Recovered. Prez just takes it back out, wide open for the three. X-Man off the back of the rim. I thought that one was gone. Rebound. Vance gets it over to Parkman. Here on the near side, going to probably take a shot. Not going to drop. Rebound. Rebound's going to get that one. Double team. Going to dribble out of it. Come up behind him, looking for Mitchett inside, but. Blue jerseys closing fast. Boone Fahey almost picked Tyler's pocket on the way up through. Here's Parkman. Goes inside. Nowhere to go. Blocked out. He's in defense. Playing tough right now inside. Both teams not giving much inside right now. Bedford, turnaround. Throws up a circus shot, doesn't go. Fahey, stolen away though by Vance. We've seen him do that. Baden, Baker and uh, Gabe are double teaming. <laughs> Brian McFarlane calls it off of Thetford. Once again, our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Jumpstart your future. Gabe Mitchin gets it across court. Baker inside X. Going to trick another three. Rolls off the top of the rim. Rebound. McGovern. Pass up. Gilman cross court. Looking at advance. Gets it back to McGovern. This is Gilman. Parkman tries to go inside. Vance directing traffic. Parkman back over, tipped. Tipped, I think Baker got a hand on it. Spencer Durkee going in and Dempsey McGovern coming out for coach Jason Gray. One oh nine left to go in the first. Cats up nine five. Rivard can't get that one to drop. Goes off of Hazen, and Moody's going to come in and Gabe Mitchell to go back out. Here's Gilman. Gets it over. Parkman. Uh, Baker ha had it, but then uh, Vance got it back. Hazen gets it back. Wild action underneath there. Looking inside. Panthers really good at getting in our passing lanes.
And we're going to have a foul on the floor. Foul called on Jaden Baker. So says Jeff Blanchard. Pass in, turn around. Rebound, Rebard. I'll tell you, after the 33 rebound game, I don't know. I'm, I call him T-Rex. I, I, we went with Ty Slamajama after he threw that one down against Montpelier. I may have to go with the chairman of the boards. X to inbound, 24 seconds left here in the first, still 9-5. Defensive battle, you'd say, out here. Moody thinks about taking the three, swings it out to Baker, over to Revard. Inside, X, nice cut, can't get it to drop. Fighting it out, Mitchin goes in. They're going to call Lincoln on the player control. He, he kind of bumped it, but you know, Rubin's racing, but that's the way Lincoln plays. Lincoln's seen the ball ping pong around enough. He was just going to get the rebound. 12 seconds left for the Panthers. Moody got a hand on it. Thetford still in control underneath. Nowhere to go with it. Back out. Going to take a three. In and out. Dylan Vance has a three-pointer go. In and out. It's halfway down the cylinder. At the end of one. Bit of a low-scoring affair so far. Hazen up on the Thetford Panthers, 9-5. And now I can catch a breath and give our sponsors a proper read and everything else. This is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable down, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future down there at Lamoille. So, uh, yeah, a busy week here at the Den. We got the boys. We had the boys last Friday where the girls actually played Saturday. I missed that one. They beat Blue Mountain. They're on a 17-game win streak. Haven't lost since the opening night of the season back in December up in Enosburg. So you want to check them out. Come out and support them uh, tomorrow night, their senior night against Milton. Boys will be back here Wednesday night against Lamoille and then next Thursday will be the boys' senior night against Randolph. Then we start the playoffs. I believe I have it written down here. The girls, uh, the girls play. Uh, well, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. It's going to depend on seedings and everything. So I'm, you know, they'll be next week. There'll, there'll be a playoff game next week. Where, when, and against who? I have no clue. We'll find out on Monday, I suppose. Inside, Ryan the Little Lion with the turnaround. Ryan Morrison to catch up six. Fahey gets it to Vance. Pass knocked away. Hazen defense staying stout now. Coach Hill happy with his charges. Seven twenty-five left to go in the first half. Cats up by a score of eleven to five. Moody swings it over to X. Xavier Hill back out. Morrison over to Moody. Moody takes a long three off the back of the rim. Morrison gets in there, tipping it around, trying to get it. He went over the back of Boone Fahey. Gilman over to Fahey, back to Vance, McGovern. <laughs> Bow called on Gabe Mitchin. I tell you, it's hard to look down at my names because I feel like I'm missing something. These teams are going so quick out here. Turnaround, shot off the glass. Mitchell Parkman, four points for the junior. Cuts the lead to four. See if the boys can work it inside. Thetford hasn't given them much inside yet tonight. 
There's a cut, Baker. Jaden Baker, beautiful, beautiful cut, beautiful pass. Ryan the Little Lion threaded in there beautifully to a cutting Jaden Baker. Makes a score 13-7. Baker with the rebound. X-Man with Gilman on her. Gets it back out. Morrison, top of the key, swings it over. Jaden Baker. X had a cut inside there, but man, he's, we've seen the Panthers disrupt those passing lanes. X going to take a three short. Rebound Vance. Gets it up ahead. Turnaround. Off high off the glass. Doesn't go. Rebound Jaden Baker. But when he tries to pass it up, and boy, would Thetford like that one back. Advance wide open underneath. As they had intercepted the pass. Panthers really good at, at, at like I said, disrupting our, our passing lanes out here. 5.29 left to go in the first half. A little bit of a press. And Dempsey McGovern gets called on the foul. Brendan Moody. Cancel inbounds. Jacob Gilman going to step back. X is across the timeline. Here's Baker. Revard back in now. Revard looks inside. Nothing there. Pops a pick out. Jaden Baker doesn't go off the back of the rim. A little strong. Revard tries to bring it down. And it was Parkman trying to get it to McGovern. He's in defense there. Foul called on Baker, his second. Gabe Mitchell goes in. Baker out. Pass back, Hunter Clay. Here's McGovern, gets it back over to Fahey. Shot, nothing but net for Mitchell Parkman. Six points for Mitchell Parkman. Makes it 13-9, 4.45 left to go in the first half. Rivard, short shot. Tyler Rivard, six points. Answers back, 15-9. 4.37 left in the first half. Turnaround spin against a trio of Wildcats is Parkman. I don't know how they got that ball by the official. X, little scooper, doesn't go. Here's Parkman, nice pass. Beautiful pass over to Gilman for his first points of the night. Cuts the lead to four. Three-pointer for Brendan Moody. He's a sophomore. 3.52 left in the first half. Cats up seven. Nice shot up over. Dempsey McGovern, sophomore. His first points. Rebard tries to go up underneath. Gets fouled. Carl's going to be on Hunter Clay, I believe. Going to send Rebard to the line. Tyler, good on his first free throw. Second shot, good. Ten points for Tyler Rebrand. Here's Parkman. Pass over. Short shot by Boone Fahey. Everybody's scoring tonight for the Panthers. Five players now.
Gabe Mitchell inside. Tyler, turn around, short. Mitchell goes in there. No call. Ryan, the little lion, tries to go up, and I think they're going to call this one possibly on Boone Fahey. Nope, they're going to call it on Parkman. So says referee Randy Yandel. Ryan, the little lion at the line. Shot was good, but they're going to call Tyler on a foul. Tyler, a little aggressive. Did they give him the shot? I think they gave Morrison the shot. I saw Brian McFarland put his finger, you know, make the motion that the shot was good. And but on the foul, they sent Parkman to the line because that foul put uh, us over the limit. So Thetford will be shooting one and ones, of which Parkman completes the front end, misses the back end, rebound Thetford. They're going to call uh, Moody on a foul on that one. Fairly obvious. And that's going to send Parkman back to the line once again with 2.51 in the score, 21-16. Parkman good on the front end of the one and one. Or no, I, uh, yeah, right, because he wasn't shooting, so it's a one and one. This is on the second rebound. Rebard gets it up. X underneath Morrison. Ryan, the little lion. Five points, I believe, if they gave him that foul shot. I believe we got a travel call on that one. Popped up and down. 23-17. <clears throat> Trying to go inside. Moody swings it over. Morrison has to go underneath. He's looking to try and get it to Tyler. Instead, he's going to try and put it up himself. Wow. Morrison didn't have a whole lot of room to operate in there. Seven points for the junior. Ryan, the little lion, roaring tonight here at the Den. Short shot. Dylan Vance, 25-19, 157 left to go. Tyler. And they're going to call Fahey. On a push. So we'll inbounds underneath our own basket. 152 left to go in the first half, leading by six. Moody on the far side, comes around, Morrison sets the screen, back under, Morrison switches, comes off, and he travels. Nice display of sportsmanship by Fahey, helping Morrison up. Fahey gets it over to Parkman. Parkman inside, Fahey. Back to Vance. Parkman, 130 left to go in the first half. They try and put a short shot up. This goes off the front of the rim. Rebard with the rebound. That was Dempsey McGovern putting that shot up. Moody underneath, pass underneath. Morrison, Ryan Morrison. Nine points. Nine points for Ryan the Little Lion tonight. Unofficial. Shot from the free throw line doesn't go. Tyler comes up, gets it over to X. 
X-Man. Moody. Game. Mitchin goes, dribbles into traffic, somehow gets over to the X-Man. X-Man skying up. Revard. Shot in the foul. Tyler Revard. The chairman of the boards. Chance for Tyler to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way here. Good. 13 points for the senior. 37 seconds left to go. Cats up 30-19. Spin, shot off the glass, doesn't go. Great move by Parkman to get that shot off, but plenty of time, 23 seconds. Panthers pressing. Cats break it. Looking for Morrison inside. Rivard shot in the foul. 15 points now for Tyler Rivard. Foul called on Mitchell Parkman, his second. Rivard at the line. Completes the three pointer the old fashioned way. 16 points for Tyler Rivard. McGovern, shot doesn't go. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading by a score of 33 to 19 over the Thetford Panthers here at the Den. Great game so far, some fantastic action. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, this game is far, far, far from over. These Panthers are a tough team. Um, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Art on camera. Good game, eh, Art? Art's nodding his head. Yeah. We will be back in time for the start of the second half. All right, second half action about to start here at the Den at Hazen Union High School. It is your Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking on the Thetford Panthers tonight. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable down streaming worldwide and archive at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. We got a good one going on here tonight. Hazen leading by score of 33-19. Once again, Thetford, one of the three teams that beat us back uh, January 11th. Down in Thetford. Baker with the steal. Can't do it. Tyler Rivard there for backup. Makes it 35-19. Anyways, back in January, we lost down in Thetford, 47-42. High arcing shot. Doesn't go. Rebound by the Prez. Lincoln Mitchell gets it up to X. So quick. Gilman had nowhere to go, so he threw it off X. They'll set it up and play it again. Brendan Moody with three, Baker with five. Uh, Tyler Rivard has 19 now, courtesy of that last basket. And Ryan Morrison with nine. Unofficially. Foul called on Xavier Hill. For Thetford, it is Hunter Clay with three, Jacob Gilman with two, Mitchell Parkman with uh, six. Eight, Dylan Vance with two, Dempsey McGovern with two, Boone Fahey with two. Boys looking to clean up the court down there. Rebound, Rivard. Once again, it was Tyler Rivard setting a single game record in Friday night's game against Montpelier with 33 rebounds, along with 25 points. Shattered the record held by Billy Boyd from 2009 in a playoff game against Williamstown. Boyd at 26. Boys ended up losing by five to Montpelier, but they played the defending two-time Division II champions. Tough. Rivard. Waits, hesitates, draws the foul. Oh, 
Rebar to go to the line. Good on that one. And good on that one as well. Twenty one points for the senior. Baker down with the rebound. <clears throat> Inside. Rebard off the glass. It's a twenty four points for Tyler Rebard with six twenty four left to go in the third. X turn around. High off the glass. Rivard with a rebound. Back up again. Shot goes. 26. Thetford puts up a shot. And Boone Fahey scores. Cuts it. Makes it a 41-21 score. Jason Gray wants a timeout. I think he took, did he take a timeout? Yes, he did take a timeout. 5.51 left to go in the third. Cats have uh, gotten a whole lot of Tyler Rivard. Or I should say Thetford's gotten a whole lot of Tyler Rivard so far in this quarter. And uh, Cats have extended their lead to 20. Cats. Moody. Three pointer, nothing but net for Brendan Moody. Makes it 44 21. So we saw a very low scoring first quarter. It was 9 5 at the end of the first. We've seen some scoring since then. Moody can't quite handle that pass from Xavier Hill. Shots made by Parkman. Ten points for Mitchell Parkman. Five minutes left to go in the third. Rivard, turn around. Beautiful pass. Lincoln Mitchell. What a pass. What a pass. From Rivard to the Prez. Bedford looking to get something going here in the third. Fahey trying to get a pass. There's a nice cut. Gilman, nice pass, nice cut to the basket. There's the Prez over to Baker. Baker. We got Tyler on the outside, swings it over to Mitchell. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. Foul called on Spencer Durkee. Catch the inbounds. Shot. Jaden Baker. Seven points. Parkman passes over. Gilman couldn't quite get it to drop. Rebound, Vance. Vance would have had the shot and the foul if it would have dropped. It'll be called on Baker. His 
third, and in will come Gabe Mitchett. No good on the first one. No good on the second rebound. The Prez. Underneath Morrison. We saw Ryan Morrison pouring in the points in the first half. Nine points for Ryan, the little lion. Didn't get any on that one. Parkman tries to drive. Lincoln gets called on the hand check. Panthers on the inbounds from underneath. Pass back. Boone Fahey gets it over to Durkee. Durkee swings it to Vance. Vance throws up a three-pointer. That's off. The Prez knocks that one into the stands. Bedford on the inbounds. Durkee on the far side. Gilman. Swings it over. Here's Vance again. Back out to Fahey. Gilman passes over. Parkman takes a three in and out. Rebound. Morrison gets it up to the X-Man. Gabe Mitchett over to uh, Moody. Open for the three-pointer. Doesn't drop. Thought it was going to go. Parkman wants to go coast to coast. Draws the foul. Foul called on Brendan Moody. We'll send Mitchell Parkman to the line. 2.22 left to go here in the third. Cats up 48-25. Parkman makes his first free throw. Rebard back in. Morrison out. And Dylan Vance comes out. I believe McGovern went back in. Parkman good on a second one. 12 points for the junior. X and hands off Mitchett. Gabe Mitchett puts up a shot from inside, doesn't go. Rebound, uh, Thetford comes up with it. Push, quick, shot, not good. Going. Here's X, slows it down, turns underneath the Prez, draws the foul. Dempsey McGovern, I think, is going to get called on that. I think it's going to be McGovern. 154 left to go in the third. The Prez at the line, shooting two. In and out. Foul called on Gabe Mitchin underneath, his second on that. Draws a little laughter from the student section. Here's Gilman. Pass over. Shot. By shot taken by Durkee. They call it they call it a three. I saw some hands go up. So score 48-30. X on the inbounds. Looking for the press. Back out, Moody. 
Gabe mentioned, here's the X-Man. Brings it back over. Moody trying to get it inside to the Prez. Rebird inside, pass back out. Mitchin goes over to X inside, broken up by Boone Fahey. Saw a lot of that in the first half. They got in their passing lanes the first half. Going in, block! In the end, there was a foul called on Gilman. I don't know what that whole exchange was all about. They call a foul on Gilman, his third. Take it away. Tyler goes up again, trying to get the block. Draws the foul. His second. Short. Is Parkman. He was dead on earlier. Makes a second one. Mitchell swings it out. Here's Moody. McGovern on him. Pass under. Gabe Mitchell shot in the foul. Gabe the Big Blue Ox, his first points of the night. We'll go to the line to complete the three pointer of the old fashioned way with 24 seconds left to go to third. Cats up 50 to 31. Tyler comes out. Ryan the Little Lion goes in. Gilman comes out as well. Good on that one. 20 point lead for the Cats, 22 seconds left here in the third. Three pointer, off, rebound. Xavier Hill pushing up, was looking for the Prez but broken up by Parkman. Coach Hill not happy on that one. Taken away. Ryan the Little Lion. No time left on the clock, though, for Ryan. And at the end of three, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading by a score of 51 to 31 over the Thetford Panthers. Here from the Den tonight, Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. You're watching on HGTV, Channel 1080, on your cable the hill, streaming worldwide and archived. www.hgtv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport, Hazen Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC.LNSD.org. Fourth quarter yet to go. Let's see, so we got 51, so we've already scored more. When we went down to see them, we only scored 42 back in uh, January. So we bested that. They scored... 47, which they're only at 31 right now with eight minutes. You know, we've got eight minutes to play in the game. It was on this day. Oh, I didn't write the year down again. It was in the 50s. Frank Selvey became the only D1 player to score 100 points in a game. 41 of 66 from the floor, 18 of 22 from the free throw line. His last two points came off of a half-court desperation shot at the buzzer to net him 100 points. The only D2, D1 player ever to score 100 points. Ryan Morrison not ready for that one. Gabe is. Drops it inside, looking for Rebard. 
we get a timeout, I'll look up. I'll look up more on that hundred point game. That's, you know, the the record is is a Division three player named Jack Taylor who scored 138 in a game. But that was D three. This is what I'm talking D one. The only player to score ever score a hundred in a game. 7:50 left to go. Cats up 20. Gabe Mitchell looking for somewhere to go with it. Here's Baker. X man, Baker. Pass inside, turn around. Gabe Mitchell. Five points for Mitchell. 53 31, your score. 7 15 left. Wild shot. Hey, the only shot you don't make is the one you don't take. Dempsey McGovern's got four points now. Turnover. Thetford. Morrison gets a hand on it. Another hand on it by Baker, and they're going to call Baker on a foul. His fourth. Going to send Moody back in. Lincoln Mitchell's going to come in. Ryan Morrison out. Here's Boone Fahey at the line. Front end of a one and one misses. Rebound, Tyler Rivard. And a foul is going to be called on Dylan Vance. No, it was called on uh, Mitchell Parkman, his third. And both teams are in the bonus right now, so we'll be shooting them one and ones. Rebard at the line. I have Tyler at 25 points right now. I get 26. Unofficially. 6.54 left to go in the game. Cats up 54-33. Second shot good. Broken up by the Prez. Thetford will have the ball underneath their own hoop with 6.47 left to go in the ball game. Vance passing in. Gets it into Fahey. The Prez on him. Swings it back out. Parkman takes a three. Short. Rebound. Mitchell gets it over to X. Xavier Hill. Was looking inside for the press. That one broken up. Xavier says, I'll throw one, you know, I make a turnover, I'll create a turnover. Good hustle. Parkman, top of the key, inside. Cutting underneath was uh, Dempsey McGovern not ready for the pass. A lot of people talking about Chris Stapleton's version of the Star Spangled Banner last night at the Super Bowl, which was good. It was really good. But if you want to see the ultimate, go to YouTube. It was on this day. What do we got happening? Some extracurricular. Foul called on Brendan Moody. Go to YouTube. It was on this day in 1983 that Marvin Gaye at the NBA All-Star Game did the ultimate version of the Star Spangled Banner. So Moody called on uh, a foul there. I'm going to reserve judgment. Dempsey McGovern, first one. I mean, it was a foul. I'm not. I'm not denying it wasn't a foul. I'm. Deni I'm what I'm. Trying to not comment on his why. McGovern. Twenty point lead with six ten left. X breaks the press. 
Moody off the rim. Rebound Vance. Coach Hill, why? Turnaround, Vance underneath. No, that's uh, Fahey. Fahey. Boone Fahey with six points. And foul called on Gilman. His fourth. Sends Moody to the line with 549 left in the game. Moody, front end of the one and one. Good. Each, each team with two more fouls to get before we go into the double bonus. Moody good on his second. 20 point lead once again for the Cats. 5.45 left. Here's Fahey. Runs into Brendan. No call, as it should have been. Let him play. That shot doesn't go. Rebound, Rivard. And that foul called on Boone Fahey. Revard short on the front end. He's Tyler's usually dead on on his on his free throws, but we'll give him the occasional miss. Shot and the foul by Dylan Vance. Foul called on Moody. Going to send Vance the line, make the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Brendan now has his fourth foul, so they send in Jaden Baker, who's playing with four fouls. And both teams now have one more foul to get before we're in the double bonus and shooting a lot of free throws. Vance. Off, rebound, Rivard. Double team. Quick whistle by Brian McFarlane. Foul called on Mitchell Parkman, that's his fourth, and Rivard's gonna be shooting two. So with 5.15 left, I would say be prepared for a lot of free throw shooting. This is the first one. Good on the second one. Five ten left. Cats up by a score, 58-39. Fahey, nice shot. Eight points for Boone Fahey. Baker with Dempsey McGovern on him. Baker goes inside, puts up a shot, lets it to go. Jaden Baker, the butcher, the baker, the shot maker. Nine points for Jaden Baker. Long shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Fahey goes off. They're going to call it off the press. And back in goes Jacob Gilman and Spencer Durkey. Going to take a seat. Thetford inbounding underneath their own hoop. McGovern. To back Vance. Vance inside. Puts up a shot. Doesn't go. Rebound, Fahey. Turn around under the glass. Boom, Fahey. Gives himself 10 points on the night. 60-43. 4 left to go in the game. Rivard doesn't get the shot to go, but he's going to shoot two. Foul called on Jacob Gilman, and that will foul him out of the game. Thetford faithful, not happy with Randy Ando. And Spencer Durkee goes back in. Gilman good natured about it all.
Tyler short. <clears throat> Tyler a little off on his free throws tonight. So we'll have Tyler reporting in tomorrow at 6 a.m. to shoot some free throws. Okay, make it 6.30. 29 unofficially for the chairman of the board. Vance scoops inside, shot. Rolls in, shooter's roll. I believe that was Fahey getting that. I saw a three on the thing. And Coach Jason Gray wants a timeout. 61-45, 3.47 left. Cats don't want to rest on their laurels against these uh, Thetford Panthers, that's for sure. try and find something out on that 100-point uh, game that I was talking about on my trusty device here. Who do I have? Frank Selvey during this timeout. Frank Selvey, 100 points. Finding it. I'm getting there. 100 point college game. He's playing for Furman University against Newberry College on February 13th, 1954. The only NCAA Division I player to ever do so. So there you go. Now you have it officially. Remember, no three point shot back then. Uh, 41 of 66 from the floor, 18 of 22 from the free throw line. Call goes against Dempsey McGovern, his fourth. And yeah, as I said, uh, okay, Thetford now with 10 fouls, so we will be shooting two. We have one more to give, and then they'll be shooting two on them all. Baker doesn't get his first one to drop. Second one goes, Jaden Baker. 10 points for the senior. Once again, speaking of seniors, we'll have senior night tomorrow night for the girls against Milton. And that was Mitchell Parkman with three to make it 62-48. X gets it to Rivard. Timeout taken by Coach Aaron Hill with 3.16 left, and Panthers making a ball game of it here. 62-48 is your score. Is your score. Uh, it's National Crab Rangoon Day. I like Crab Rangoon. It's also Oatmeal Day, and it's National Cheddar Day. Oh, let's stick with food. It's National Tortellini Day. National Tortellini Day. So have some Crab Rangoon with your tortellini. And I uh, hope you had some oatmeal for breakfast and uh, have a little cheddar along the way. What was that? What was that uh, schoolhouse rocks thing from the 70s where you hanker for a hunk of cheese? Remember those? Those are great. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? X. We're working against Spencer Durkee. Revard on the outside now. Baker. Here's X-Man. Catch, you gotta believe we're gonna wanna chew some time off the clock as well. Three minutes left. There's Baker. Ryan, the little lion, top of the key. Gabe, the big blue ox. Had Revard for a second, but there were a couple of blue jerseys right around him. Revard had to kind of guard against a three second call as well. Two forty left. Cats taking some time here. Mitchett with X. X inside. Morrison wide open underneath. Can't get the turnaround though. Makes the say. Nope. Stepped on the line. Stepped on the line. Runs into Fern down there on the end line.
2.25 left. Vance. And trying to get that one off. Baker. With the D. Mitchett. Cross court. X. Here's Baker again. Two minutes. 2.05. Inside. Revard down low. Shot in the foul. 2.04. Left to go in the game, 64-48. Revard at the line. He'll be shooting to complete the three-point three point play the old-fashioned way. And there he is as good. Two oh one left. Cats up, 65-48. Vance swings it inside. Fahey wants to try and shoot. Turn around. Nice shot, Boone Fahey. 14 points. He's a sophomore. Playing well. 65 50, 15 point lead. 130 left to go in the game. Baker. Gets it in. Revard up. Two more. For Tyler Revard with 114 left. One minute left to go in your ball game. 67-50 is the score. Shot short. X. Gets it over to Revard. Puts up a shot, doesn't drop. Revard, rebound, turnaround, doesn't go. He's going to go to the line with 53 seconds left. Parkman's going to foul out on that one as Revard's standing at the line. Brady Sloop will go in for the Panthers with 53 seconds left. The Cats up by a score of 67 to 50. Revard at the line, shooting two. Makes the first one. I have 35 unofficially, 36. I think I'm off. I think I think I'm off, but there's 50 seconds left. I've been trying to keep track, but I know I. And that was Dempsey McGovern with a three-pointer. Foul called on Baker. He's going to foul out. Makes it 69-53. And I believe with the foul on a three-pointer, I think McGovern gets three shots. Got nine points. Oh no, it's just all right. Was it a two-pointer then? Two-pointer. I thought he was shooting a three. Revard inside. Two points. Revard at the line with 37.6 left. 71-54 is your score. I think he's at 38. Long shot. Rebound, Revard. 20, 30 seconds left. Revard, nobody's going to deny him. Doesn't drop. Back in. Can't get it to go. 20 seconds left. Foul called. Here's Fahey at the line, 16.4 left. First one, good. Yeah. 
short. Rebound, Rivard. Tyler Rivard up, drops! And that will do it. Tyler Rivard has now scored 1,000 points in his high school career with 9.4 left on the clock. Chairman of the board, T-Rex, Ty Slamma Jamma. Now he's a thousand point scorer. His name will go up on the wall. Gonna join a host of others up there. The last one to do it was Isaiah Baker back in 2021. Slamma Jamma. Thousand point score for Hazen. Goes up with the likes of Jamin Reno, Billy Welcome, Tim Shedd, Brad Mater, Dennis LaCourse, Isaiah Baker, Dave Fair, Bruce Putvain. And now add Tyler Rebar to that list. Huge, huge night for Tyler Rebar. He's got the single-game scoring record with 50 earlier this season against Enosburg. He's got the single-game rebound record with 33 this past Friday night against Montpelier. Add a 1,000-point score to the list. And now we'll call it a game, folks. The final 74-55 as your Hazen Union Wildcats push their record to 13-3. Uh, and three. But story of the night, Tyler Rivard getting his 1,000th career point here tonight for the Wildcats. What a night. <laughs> oh, boy. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. All right, how's it feel to be a part of history? The second one I've gotten to call. I missed Isaiah's. I got to call Dennis's, and uh, just an absolute thrill to get to call that one as well. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. We'll be back tomorrow night for the girls' senior night. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.